Hello everyone, this is Rick with Buddy Punch. A great feature of Buddy Punch is that we provide our clients the option to add as many administrators as they need at no additional charge. Administrators are in charge of the account, settings, and they can view all employee information and take action on pending requests as well as add and delete employees. So when the time comes where you need to add a new administrator or remove an existing admin, this video will walk you through that process. We'll begin on our dashboard by clicking on the Employees tab at the top of the screen, which takes us to our employee list. Now, if you're adding somebody new to the company, well, you would simply click Add New Employee in the upper right corner. This process is the same as adding any other employee, and we actually have a separate video and some help articles to walk you through that process. For today though, we'll simply choose an existing employee that's already in the system and we are going to upgrade them to an admin. To do that, it requires us to go to the top of the screen here and click on settings, and then we will select administrators. Now, as you see at the top of the screen, there's something important to note. Although an admin will have full access within Buddy Punch, they will not be allowed to punch in and punch out, and this admin will not count against your active employee count. In the event that you need to have an admin also be able to punch in and punch out, you would simply create two separate profiles, one for the employee to punch in and punch out, and the other for that employee to have admin access. So to add our new administrator, we would go down to the drop-down box right here, click and simply select their name. Let's go ahead and select Harriet, and we are going to click Add. As you can see here, the warning that I just mentioned about losing their ability to track time will pop up, and there is a link right here to a help article on how to allow for both functions. But when I'm ready, I simply click Yes, and there she is. She appears right on our list. Of course, the time may come someday down the road when Harriet needs to be removed. To do that is as easy as clicking on the Remove button, which, as you'll see, will downgrade this person to an inactive employee. Now, if she's no longer with the company, that's not a problem. But if she is and you want to reactivate her, we simply head back here to the Employees tab where you'll now see only four people listed, but we have a new inactive employee right here. So let's reactivate her. Let's go to the inactive employees and there we see Harriet. Let's go ahead and click on view to see her account. To reactivate her, we simply go to edit and we'll scroll down just a little bit more and we see right here an active button. I will select that, make sure that's checked scroll down to the bottom of the list and click Save. And now she is active again. Do you want to double check that? Well, let's just click on Employees and now you see Harriet is now back as an active employee. And that wraps up our walkthrough today for adding and removing an admin in the Buddy Punch system. Thank you very much for joining us and have a great day.